Noah from Cisco, Minnesota. Today we're going to make a fig jam and goat cheese pinwheel using our Butterflakes buttermilk biscuit mix. Uh, some of our black and barrel goat cheese, and then from European imports, our red, red fig jam. So to start out with, we're going to start out with three cups of the buttermilk butterflake biscuit mix. And we're just going to mix that with about one cup of cold water. And this is going to make our dough. It's easiest to mix this by hand. And really what we're doing is just forming this into kind of a damp dough. It should still have a little bit of liquid to it. It shouldn't be super dry. I want to make sure we get all those ingredients mixed in really well. So after mixing in the, uh, the water and the biscuit mix, we're just going to knead it until we get a nice smooth ball out of it. So right now you can see there's still a couple of little, a couple of little seams left in it. We want to knead that until all of those go over. And once we have a nice smooth ball of dough here, uh, we're going to lay out a half a sheet of parchment paper and just sprinkle that with a little bit of additional biscuit mix just to help keep things from sticking. Uh, flour makes doughs come out tougher, so we want to make sure not to overdo that a little bit on there. And we're going to grab our rolling pin and just roll this out so it roughly matches the size of that sheet of parchment pin. So now that we have this rolled out, our next step here is going to be to spread the dough with a little bit of our fig jam. Those little chunks will kind of melt down as it sits in the oven, as it bakes. And then our final step is going to be to go ahead and just dot it with little pieces of our crumbled goat cheese. So we're using the Chev, which is a little softer goat cheese, a little creamier in, in uh, texture. Um, and we just want to make sure that, you know, every piece is going to have some little flex of this in it. This will give us a nice kind of pungent uh, balance to the sweetness of the uh, fig jam. And then our final step is just going to be to roll this up. It's basically the same idea as making a, uh, making a cinnamon roll, making a jelly roll, any of those kinds of things. We're just gonna use the parchment paper to kind of help roll this up. Making sure that it's nice and even. And then once we have that roll, simply a matter of cutting it into whatever size slices we want. So I'm going to go about half an inch thick on these. And then we'll place these on a greased sheet pan. So I generally bake these in the convection oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, we'll take them back out of the oven. And as you can see, they've baked up into a nice treat for a brunch, uh, a lunch appetizer, even a dinner appetizer. A lot of different applications for these.